Okay, so, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's time for the big one. Y you know, because all of you guys, 70% of you guys wanted me to renovate this Bloxington mansion, even though I said, aka, please don't make me do the Bloxington mansion. I would have so much preferred to do this one instead, but no, it's only got 11%. Anyways, it pains me to do so, but it, it costs 200,000. Anyways, here we go. Bye. Oh, it's only worth 140,000, and it looks ugly, and it's outdated. Look, all of the colors, everything. Thing. actually it's not too bad oh my god yeah i don't know what i just invested in but i'm already not liking it i've actually never bought this house before and i i i'm glad i didn't because this is very atrocious hold on what does it look like from the outside okay oh it's probably the pool that makes it cost that much but even then everything at the back doesn't look that nice like what is this it's like the garage is not it's like it was the final thing that they slapped on we're gonna have to transform this all right so the task is simple we trash everything i'm joking i kind of want to keep the main shape going on right here i kind of already had a plan for this but basically i'm gonna turn this into a, a mediterranean villa type thing i don't know if i'll go two floors but probably not i'll i'll probably just delete all of the inside like i normally do look at this floor plan it's so bad first things first i'm gonna delete the walls on the outside now and i know it seems like i'm deleting a lot of stuff but it'll be replaced with better stuff so technically it is renovating i'm gonna keep the pool here i don't want to waste money first things first the path we gotta work on the path i've kind of memorized the shape of it so i'm just gonna make it look a little more flowing than it did before maybe like this you can curve like this again out to the front and then we just make this concrete okay it's already looking a little better kind of maybe okay this might be cursed but uh <laughs> All right, let's see what we have to work with right here. Like, I want to use these arches, obviously, because Mediterranean. I think that's what it means. I've never actually done a thorough study on this style, but, uh, yeah, let's just put a bunch of arches and hope it hope it works. Okay, yeah, something like this. Maybe at the back when we can keep everything. I don't know if I'll do two floors. Okay, roof gone. I don't know what I want to do with the garage. Do I want to keep it or do I want to demolish it? I'm demolishing it. Now that I've demolished the garage, I'm going to have to rework the path as well. So basically what I kind of want to do is... Is, oh, hold on let me join these walls yeah so basically what i want to do is make a side garage entrance thing like right here so basically now we have a side where we can put doors hold on i have to like join them okay yeah doors in place perfect nice i stand corrected doors are not in place now the doors are in see not not nothing much has changed maybe like the entire left side but i guess it's okay we're, we're losing some square feet but trust the process okay i'm gonna delete some of the gardening out at the front just remind me to put like a bunch of flowers. Okay, windows, they all have to go. I know, I know they're weak. Wait, it was not. There's no way the house was bought like this. Look at this window on the right and look at this window on the left. I had to have moved it. There's no way they were misaligned like that. Oh man, big changes incoming. So like we did with, with another Mediterranean home we did before, uh, I'm gonna put these arches, arcs, whatever you call them. And uh, already it's looking a little better than it was before. Just gonna have to move some stuff. I'm gonna need like a custom doors once again the custom windows are coming in clutch custom custom windows beautiful okay yeah i'm, I'm sure you guys have seen me do this enough times to like know what i'm doing so i'm, not, I'm just gonna skip to the end so here's the window and then basically what i want to do is take this i'm gonna put that there resize it so it's about the same size and then we're gonna have a custom door now how do we make a custom door watch this basic shapes we're gonna put this in the middle resize it all the way down resize it till it's skinny resize it till it's lengthy enough put another cube on top do the same take another cube but this one's transparent resize that make sure it's lengthy enough make sure that goes all the way up guys just bear just bear with me and then now that we have that frame we could just move it so it's like rotated okay now we have a door and it's open so we basically just do this for for this door too and then you can add your structurals in as well boom okay now that took way too long okay where was i okay i still have to work on the whole entrance path thing and and then the side so i'm just gonna do that really quick okay here's a bird's eye view i don't know if you want to pause it for a second if you're trying to remake this but uh here you go now 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 what do we do here okay we get rid of the whole foyer and we move it back actually no this is keepable <laughs> i say that as i'm deleting basically everything from the front where's the center of this wall okay looking good and then we can do our basic shape thing that we did once before with our ai build if you don't know what i'm talking about make sure you go watch that video some Sometimes...
My building scares me. Okay, what kind of colors do we... Uh, maybe I should just stay with the brown and beige, but I kind of don't like this whatever beige this is. Should I go linen? Honestly, might be a might be a good idea. Or maybe I should just change the beige color to a different one. Oh, wait, yeah, I have that new, new recolor tool. I could just make it lighter or darker. Oh, wait, this is already as light as it gets. I didn't like how dark it was, so I'm gonna make it lighter. It's probably just some random shade of beige that you can probably copy but uh don't take my word for that anyways here we're gonna do some crazy weird stuff uh i'm probably just gonna skip or cut the video so you guys don't have to watch me do all this weird stuff but basically i'm just gonna move these and rotate them so that they make a little curve okay and i decided to ditch that idea because i i i give up yeah that's fine that's fine that's fine i'll put like some gardening to cover that up but anyways we're gonna have our entrance here the same thing like before uh like this okie dokie and then we can have our windows and whatnot going going here nice okay perfect now i don't know if i want to keep or make this the entrance or make this part the entrance maybe i'll just do both because i really like the windows there but i also want to add like an a, a, a good looking entrance right here but i have no idea how to do that so uh bear with me yeah whatever i'm just gonna keep the windows here <gasps> okay idea big big brain idea what if we put a Wait, why can't I place wall? Was there a reason why I can't place a wall here? Okay, so what I wanted to do is this. At this point, I think I've deleted almost every single wall in the build. I guess that's okay. As long as it looks good in the end and has some resemblance to the old house. So I wanted to place a door here like this. And that'll be like the entrance. I know it's not as grand, but I think it'll work. Although it is off on like a slant. So that is kind of awkward. Eh, okay. These have to be like the most useless things it's it's literally a flex all right here's the garage nice big spacious unlike the last one just gonna put the floor in so that does overlapping floor wait i've literally never seen that message before whatever we do it manually okay so far so good now what for the right side how do i do the right side good question um so basically we're gonna put a fountain here do i want to put a fountain here probably not maybe like a garden although this kind of covers the house not gonna lie like i I wish i had those you know statues but you know you need weird levels to unlock those so i can't get them oh wait yeah they added these new bushes maybe i could add like bushes rose bushes okay that was big brain and then after that i can put like the the dirt piles around it so it looks like there's dirt under it but there's not actually dirt under it also i'm kind of thinking of going back to doing this uh there we go and i don't like it <laughs> back to that whole part of the video wasted okay anyway here again we're gonna add the 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 arches arches look nice because arches look nice and then this is gonna be one of our bedrooms so i'm gonna have like the open door oh okay okay i have an idea if you put like fences in here you can't see them on the outside or like you can't they, you can't see them through the wall so basically it'll look good what did i just say now since it's mediterranean obviously that implies rose bushes i don't know why i didn't think of that earlier so we gotta put a bunch of rose bushes in here rose bush rose bush rose bush okay this is actually starting to look okay I don't know what I'm gonna do with the roof, but that's gonna be a problem for future me which is me in like maybe 30 minutes you know what i kind of want to do the same thing over here since there's another curvy bit i'm going to do this with the arches anytime there's a curvy bit i'm gonna use arches okie dokie and then we're just gonna take the fences again because i actually really like this idea and then it's just gonna be another balcony or like a, a porch area i did not realize that door cost like 1.6k holy heck okay so entire front finished i'm just gonna join all the walls so i I can work on this more i'm trying not to delete so much so it at least looks a bit like the 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 building from before but it's not going too well anyways we gotta make like smaller windows because we can't just keep going with uh whatever these windows are these really big ones okay easy peasy lemon squeezy window done okay i don't like that window there so i'm just gonna move it somewhere okay interior let's see what we can do so that way we can actually shape the back okay so we've kind of modified the front already so we're gonna move on to the mid part of the the house so how that's gonna go is i have no idea okay i'm gonna keep this the kitchen i believe this was the kitchen from before anyways we're gonna have a door leading through to here oh we're also gonna have a door leading here two entrances to the garage that's good that's good and then right here this is the foyer i've kind of sectioned it off already this right here will be a laundry room this right here will lead to the big entrance foyer thing i'm actually gonna delete this wall for a second i don't know if i should go with double 
double like this or actually use the arches that we have up here. I'm probably going to use the arches actually just because they look better. No, I'm going to do some extension things. Watch just like this. It's going to pop out. Now the whole back is not just flat. And basically we're going to mimic whatever's up here to the back. God, I still hate the fact that these doors cost like nine billion dollars. Why? <laughs> Why? I swear I didn't spend that much on them. Okay. Anyways, that's the back entrance done okie dokie so not looking too shabby now what to do with the right side now there initially used to be a bedroom here and a bathroom here but what i'm thinking is that we can split this into a single bedroom probably gonna split it like this there's gonna be a closet here with an entrance on this wall and then this is gonna be one of the bedrooms so that'll be pretty nice that'll look straight outside and then after that there's gonna be another bedroom here this is probably gonna be the master bedroom so the door is gonna go here and then the entrance is going to go in here slowly but surely the house is getting reformed as you can see there's still some walls that have been kept but most of them have been destroyed but that's okay oh this will make for such a nice living room like i'm not even joking here's the living room right here we're gonna have a couch here and then back here i'm just gonna get the doors so we know where everything goes nice and worked out kind of maybe sort of yeah they still have not added the thing where you can switch the way that doors open because i know it says rotate but see the door's gonna open outwards and i don't want that i want it to open this way this way inwards but if i place it like this side it's not gonna happen it's gonna open this way so like why okay and we're just gonna have another probably bedroom right here and then this will be an office okay now we restructure all the walls how to restructure all of the walls okay not too shabby the back is less flat than it was before which is good which is good which is good we did our job hold on let me just put a chimney here or a, a fireplace i love my fireplaces wait a second this needs to be a bathroom right here okay then what is this maybe it's just like a storage room uh <laughs> oh wait, wait 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 i have an idea what if we just make this a really big bathroom okay yeah perfect see guys i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing okay windows let's finish up this exterior probably not the best idea to have windows where you're bathing but it'll be fine nobody does that anyway since it's an office i think it deserves to have you know the arch thing okay what am i doing why is it doing that there we go a nice little spot for the office time to do the floor okay so that's the main part kitchen and then this little triangle because if you don't do the triangle separately it's gonna look weird see now all the planks are lined up straight and then it's only this part that that has a problem but if you you like went and did your auto roofs or whatever or auto flooring it wouldn't be the same that's just a quick build tip anyways we're gonna double up all of these floors that way it looks a little more realistic and textured but other than that okay we gotta get our tvs back in one's gonna go in the first bedroom the other one's gonna go in the second bedroom i don't know if i'll switch out the tvs actually now that we have all of the inside done gonna leave a couch here to mark that i feel like i always do this like i mark out where i want everything you know you know you know you know oh wait we have a fridge and a stove take the fridge take the stove put some counters on okay so now we have a very awkward looking mixed kitchen set i guess it's fine we'll leave it at that for now it'll probably change in the future don't worry guys there will not be a carpet in the kitchen i promise you that now i'm just gonna resize this carpet in the kitchen real quick Oh, 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 entrance, entrance, entrance. This is where it goes. The black and yellow piano will make an appearance. It literally fits so perfectly in here. Like you have a a nice view outdoors into the into the thing and you see the piano. Oh, everything about it. Black and yellow piano in. Everything else will be in soon. Uh, I don't know about all these tables, guys, but uh, maybe we could just spread them out. Like I really don't know what Coeptus's goals were when he was putting all these tables in. Okay, final part of the build, the roof. How do I want to do this roof? This is how it's going to go. We're going to do this. Okay. It worked out. Now this is gonna be our roof. So that's gonna be like that. And then this all, all has to be colored. Now, basic shapes. This is where it gets tricky. There's an easier way to do this and you do it by using structurals.
So now that we have that, we can take our basic shapes and move them. Now we drag them this way. And this is the hard part. We have to move them. Okay, nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, maybe not nicely done. Do I want to change the texture of the roof? Yeah, I'm going to move everything down a bit. Just so there's not like that little gap between the roof and then the actual top part of the roof. Okay, yeah, see? Now there's no gap between here okay i figured out a really weird roof configuration it's fine <laughs> look at this i don't know what i've done but it looks interesting i'm gonna i'm just gonna do one more thing with the roofs and then we're gonna do some extra details for the outside so mansard roof for all of the curved parts just like this and over here as well okay final touches to the outside let's put some overhang basically overhangs are gonna go everywhere where there's a arch so just like this we're gonna get our shelves and then we're also gonna get our basic shapes again i'm not gonna do that for every single one of them i'm just gonna put them on top of the windows as well okay i honestly think this looks really good i just don't know what else to add to it maybe maybe some gardening would be needed hold on yeah you know what i'm gonna go around with the gardening oh yeah i also have to finish this path so this is gonna go around the entire house and then for the back the pool i'm gonna leave it the same I'm just gonna change some of the colors real quick so that way it looks kind of fitting final step is the gardening how do i want the gardening to look <laughs> this already looks so much better than the mansion i don't know how i pulled this off oh wait yeah lighting oh wait no gardening first what am i doing guys once i'm finished this leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I think it's honestly one of my best renovations. I mean, the arcs were definitely the best thing. Also, I probably said arcs or arches in a different way every single time I've said it. Okay, very good. I'm gonna put something here. You know those uh things where people have like a stone here and then it says their house number? I think it'll be a good addition to the house, especially because it makes it look more, you know, rich. Okay, wait, what did I say the final step was? Oh yeah, lighting. I think I'm just gonna go with these ones, these lights right here. They might match pretty nicely and i guess we're pretty much done with the outside probably gonna start working on the inside but that's probably gonna be split into another video this is it i think this is a very good renovation actually i'm just gonna put some lighting inside so that way we can tour it real quick okay all the lighting has been put in i know it doesn't look like much but yeah this is <laughs> gonna tour this now oh why did i put my avatar all the way here okay this is our final mansion and oh man i am so proud of this no other words i'm speechless this is so nice anyways i'm gonna go around look at everything the back doesn't look flat anymore side is all nice there's no garage that just pops out of nowhere really screams mansion going through the front we have our entrance and then we have our laundry room off to the right and then this door leads to the garage over to the left and then back here we have our living room and then that splits off into our kitchen over here that also leads to the garage let me just look at the garage real quick the garage is really nice it has like this opening which i don't usually see so that's kind of unique but anyways back through the house through the corridor to the left we have our little uh, blah, blah, office and then and then over here we have a set of three doors to the left we have probably going to be a bathroom or just some type of other room because we need a bathroom but here's our bedroom closet back there also got an opening to the balcony right here but entering over here we have our master bedroom the bed's been kept and then we have this nice little area where we can just chillax anyways back here the master bedroom also has a giant bathroom with a bathtub in it and then that pretty much concludes most of the house i think this is actually a really good layout as well you enter and then you can see through all the way through the house it's it's nice 